Okay, folks. I'm sorry. I had to take care of something. No, I'm as Baker Cam. I am doing super. I feel fine. I am doing awesome. It is an awesome Saturday night, June 22nd, 2013, live here on Nova Broadcasting. Gratefully dedicated vaping with me, your host, Junkie Rock 13. I want to thank you all for coming in exactly at 8 o'clock. We have kind of a special show going on tonight. For those of you that know, um, I will have... Oh, that's going to be a fuck annoying. I'm going to have to... Um, stop that. Give me one second here. I don't want to hear that. Um, yeah, we'll do that right now. Alright. So that is muted. Alright. Oh, let me do that. There we go. Okay. So tonight, for those of you that know, we do have a special guest coming in this evening. Um, for those that have followed on Facebook and over on the forums, I do have Pedro, who is the maker of the uh, famous Caravella, um, which is a 510 mechanical mod either brass or stainless steel and there's so many different variations that you could buy that device it's not even funny um so Pedro's is going to be here in a little while and i just want to talk a little bit about what i got this week for vape mail and um just what's going on we do have a couple giveaways not that many um uh, because we're going to be working with our um our special guests so I hope you all enjoy the show. I hope you enjoy the special guest coming on tonight. And um, just have a fun night. So if you need to, go grab yourself a beverage. Um, make sure your tanks are filled up. Make sure your addies are wet. And get ready to have fun for the next two hours. And then following my show, of course, there is Mod Envy. So for the next four hours, four hours plus, um, Nova Broadcasting is going to be hitting you with uh, the best two shows um, on the vaping networks anywhere, in my opinion. So, uh, first off, I want to start talking a little bit about my vape mail. Um, I'll start with what I got today, and I'll work backwards because I know I'll forget what I got back on like Monday so let me just pull this out um, first oh god I'm gonna watch I'm gonna end up knocking everything over because I didn't have everything damn here's making it burp a lot um, holy shit where is it wow this sucks all right I'm gonna have to get up for this. Alright, come on. Where is it? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay, here's one. Sorry about that, folks. Um, but here it is. I, did I just see Alon is in here? Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Um, so it's not uh, an extravagant mod, but I did get the new Sigully 19. Um, and if you folks know me at all, you know I like my... This isn't even it. What the hell? That's not even the device. Oh my god. Yo, I'm shot. I really am. Tell me this is it. This is it! Holy shit. Alright, here we go, folks. Um, 
I don't, Schnarf. Um, but here it is. Uh, I just threw on the AGI just real quick. Um, not that it's going to be on it permanently. But this is the new Segeli 19 Enzonic clone, I guess you want to call it. Does have a bottom firing button like the 19. It does have the magnet in the switch. This is a weird battery. I don't even know why I'm using this battery. Sorry. IMR. Um, and then we have kind of like the Enzonic Okay, so we kind of like have the Enzonic design on the front, on the top cap. But what does that matter if you have a tank on top? And, of course, it's telescopic. And actually, to tell you the truth, for those of people that have this, you'll notice that it does come with a spring in here. This little spring that is attached to that screw and the spring will be making contact with your battery. So I took the spring right out and just have that little brass stainless steel screw. I don't even know why I put that stainless steel screw in there. I could take that out and eliminate a little point of battery loss or voltage loss. And that's how I have it. The button is nice. It works pretty decent. I'm pleasantly surprised with it. So I just have the AGI on here in Genesis mode and it is working. Pretty good. Um, so that's the Sigali 19. It does have a locking ring on the bottom as those of you that know. Um, I did get a a, an oldie but I've never owned one so I was kind of happy that I got one I got the AC9 I bought it in, over at the Mod Trader it was a pretty decent price so I had to pick one up so I got the AC9 right now I have it on my Zen in 18490 mode with the 510 connection the one thing I don't like about the AC9 is it doesn't go flush to the device. The threading does not go through the whole 510 connection. So, a little piece of something in there. Um, so it, it just doesn't sit flush, which is kind of annoying, but it vapes pretty decent. Alon, I don't want to hear your shit. If anybody's got nice toys, it's you. All right, you know what's really funny? The other night, I was looking at the new M28. It's a new device. It's a, an aluminum uh, telescopic device being sold over at um, Vaporev. So I put it in on Facebook. I was like, holy shit, you guys check this out. These are in stock right now. Pretty decent looking device. So Alon goes, um, so what do you think about that M28? I was like, yeah, it looks pretty nice. A couple minutes go by. We're messaging each other. A couple minutes go by. He goes, hey, I just, I just picked one of those up. I was like, you know what? Fuck you. You know I can't afford it. <laughs> so he ended up getting one and I wanted it. But he says it's nice. He likes it. So, if you folks are looking for a new telescopic, <laughs> your fault. Yeah, thank you. So, if you guys are looking for a new telescopic um, device, new to the market, the M28 is sold over at Vape Vape Rev. So, what else did I get in the co-op that I ordered with that Segeli 19? Well, 
I did pick up. Come on, camera. Don't fuck with me tonight. All right. Well, it's good because you can see the new Sigeli kick. And I picked up a couple of these. Um, I'll do a review on this. And my review, I'll probably give one away. So I have two. I'll give one away and um, I'll review the other one. Um, I've only used it for a little bit. And the little while that I was using it, it wasn't bad. Um, it worked pretty good. I mean, I was surprised. I didn't think it was going to work as good as it did, but it works. Um, but before I do this video, I have to do a different video on another variable voltage, variable wattage drop-in that I did receive a couple weeks ago called the crown so it's kind of like the um the kick but the crown actually is variable voltage variable power or variable wattage and it actually makes some little singing noises when you uh or some musical tunes tones um so i gotta do that what else did i get this week uh, I got a couple dripping atomizers. I did get um, a dripping atomizer and I did a review on it. It's called the Forge Clone. Um, I'm not sure if you guys caught my video, but for those that did catch it, I hope you enjoyed it. I um, hope it helped you a little bit if you watched it. Um, but I will put a link in the room here is a link that's a link to my youtube channel so get over there and check it out and the link to the forge clone video is right here and in that video i show um people here it is right here this is the Forge clone. Come on. Okay, you can see there's one, two, three, four different air holes. Okay, they're all different sizes. And you can adjust your air hole from one millimeter all the way up to like 1.5 millimeters. And I also set up a well you're not gonna be able to see it but no you're not gonna be able to see it well I set up a dual coil wick system in there and I show in the video how to set that up so for those that caught the video you seen it and I hope you enjoyed it and I did talk about a couple of the faults that the Forge clone has, but it's not a horrible device. It just, I think the air hole could have been down a little bit lower, um, but it vapes pretty good. Vape's pretty decent. So that's the Forge clone. Um, what else? What else? I know I got a few more things. Huh. I hate this. I hate when I do this. I know I should keep this all out, and I never do. And the last thing I did get today is a can of Red Bull. Okay? This is the last thing I bought for my vaping was a can of Red Bull. And I didn't even buy it. Someone sent me a can of Red Bull. But I know some of you caught this in the beginning. It's not just a regular can of Red Bull. 
It's actually a Sin City mod. Um, let me turn off the light because this will look pretty cool. It's still pretty light in here. But you can see that the glass tube lights up also. There's a little LED in there. Kind of cool. So that's my Red Bull mod from Sin City Mods. So, all right, that's basically it for vape mail. Um, and I got some juice. I got some uh, Grant's Vanilla Custard in. And for those of you that have not tried Van Grant's Vanilla Custard, you know what I'm gonna tell you? Um, try it. I gotta open this door. The AC is in the other room and it is hotter than a hell, hell in here. You can hear the fan. There's a fan right by my door so it's blowing some AC in. I'm sorry for the loud noise. Or if you can hear it. Alright. Um, what else? Uh, I think that's it. I really do think that's it. All right, now let me look for one thing. Oh, folks, you know what I wanted to tell you? Right before I came on the show, because I know a few of you enjoy Cardo tanks. And those of you that know anything about the Bella tank or the Evolution tank or the Elegance tank, whatever you want to call it, um, they're a pretty nice tank. They're a pretty decent tank. I did a review on it, and, and I enjoy it. Uh, they got nice designs. Um, I'm not going to get into the whole thing about the John Boy and the Bella and all that other crap. I I'm just going to tell you that the Bella right now is in stock. Okay, so for those that are looking for a Bella or an Elegance tank, there's the link right now over at Who's Your Vapes. Get over there and uh, pick one up because they do go quick. There's some of them over there that are made of true stone um, that really look nice. So I wish I had some extra money. I would get over there and pick one up. So check them out. Who's Your Vapes. All right. What else? Um, okay. So I did let you know that Pedro, the maker of the Caravella, will be coming on in about seven minutes. So I am looking forward to him coming on. And we will be... Um, talking to him, getting the scoop on the Caravella, talking a little bit about how the Caravella was made, the idea, everything about the Caravella. And if you guys have any questions, um, I'm going to try to follow the, 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 the thread or the chat, but um, I please, I'm sorry if I don't follow it all the way. So folks, I do have six minutes before he comes in. Um, I want to give a give. I want to do a giveaway. So, um, give me one second here. Um, I do want to do a giveaway, but I'm gonna do a list randomizer giveaway. So let me get over here. Alright folks, so before we even start this, we're going to give away a J-Rap. Alan is in the room, and 
Alan has been such a fucking awesome show supporter. Um, oh no, that's not what I want to do. Why did I want you to see that? I don't want you to see that. Um, Alan has been such an awesome show supporter for me, and I want to urge you, folks, if you are looking for a wrap for your device, um, I have so many wraps on my devices. Um, if you're looking for a wrap for anything from the Ego all the way up to the GG, he has almost every device known to man to wrap, and his designs and styles are fucking sick. That is just, I'm going to stick with that. And his designs, let me, I can't stress this enough, are original, okay? These are original designs made by him, designed by him, okay? So, they're, you're not going to find any other awesome designs like his. And he has some quality stands, so check them out. So, what I'm going to do, folks, instead of doing a number generator because... I know there's a lot of people in this room, and I'm not going to try to um, do a number generator in the short four minutes that we have. So right now, I'm taking everybody's name that is in the chat. I am copying it, and I am putting it in random.org's list randomizer. So here is everybody's name, folks. I'm going to scroll back up, and I'm going to take my name. Rogeiger and viewers out. Okay? There we go, folks. There is everybody. This is for a JRAP over at JRAPS.com. So get over there and pick it out. The lucky winner of any JRAP, just get over there and pick it out. No custom made will be Mob City. Mob City, congratulations. M O B C I T T Y. Mob City, congratulations. You are the winner of the J Rap. All right, Mob City. I'm going to be putting in my email address right now. So pay attention. There is my email address, Mob City. Um, copy that email address. What you're going to do is go over to j -Raps, pick out a j -Rap, and then you are going to send me the um the design the 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 number of what am i looking for the product number the product code and your shipping address and send that to me in that email address make sure Make sure in the subject line you put um, J Rap winner. Okay? All right. So let me uh, get back over here. Go back to here. I'm going to pull this up. And okay. So it is almost 8 30. Um, I'm expecting the call. From where the hell? And there it is. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. How are you? Very good. You listen to me? Um, yes, I can hear you. Okay, let me just set up the camera and I will get you all set up over here. Okay. It'll just take me one minute. No problem, take your time. Okay. Okay. And we are gonna 
go. All right, one second and we are there. Folks, I'd like for you to welcome the maker of the Caravella, Pedro, and I'm not even going to pronounce your last name, but um, this is Pedro, the maker of the Caravella. Welcome, Pedro. Thank you. Um, folks, can you all hear him and can you all see him fine? Very good. Awesome. So, Pedro, this is not going to be any like super formal interview, writing down documents or anything like that. We are just a couple of guys and hanging out in the vaping community. Um, just because I know a lot of people um, have the Caravella. I know a lot of people love the Caravellas and a lot of people want them to learn more about them and learn how to get one or, or whatever. Um, so let's talk a little bit about you. Um, so Pedro, um, how long have you been making mods? Uh, for Caravelli, it's my first mod, so about an, an one year, something. So just for a year, you've been making mods, and uh, Caravelli yeah. is the only mod you've ever made? Yes, yes. Very good. Now, did you, um, you were obviously a smoker, um, and how long did you smoke cigarettes before you started vaping? 20, 20 years. 20 years so you're pretty much like like the like everyone else been smoking couldn't find it couldn't stand it and then turned to vaping what kind of device did you first start out on vaping um okay i started with chinese stuff a very small one similar to a cigarette to a standard cigarette i don't remember the brand okay okay and did you enjoy I them Okay, it was a surprise, uh, a good surprise, uh, because I was not expecting that something could replace cigarettes. I, I, I smoked cigarettes and pipe, also pipe, um, mm -hmm. and it was a, a pleasant surprise, uh, but after uh, I, I, I start smoking, uh, I start vaping and smoking at the same time. Um, after 15 days, I only vaping and and start to buy a lot of things. First, yeah. in my three or first three four months, I spend a lot of money and in a lot of um devices yeah um, i have all the bullshit device that it's possible to buy all the <laughs> chinese uh, yeah. uh, everything uh, okay and i start like this because i didn't know mods i only uh, search for electronic cigarettes and only bullshit uh, appears to me and I didn't know mods. The concept of a mod, I didn't know it. And after I look for a vape forum, Portuguese vape forum, and I find one and I start learning. And I, after four or five months of so much Chinese ego, all, all, all this stuff, right, but right. I, 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 um, I have always problems with them because I only like uh, 306 with low resistance and they cannot stand. Uh, I break so many batteries, Ego, many brands. <laughs> uh, okay. okay. And after I decide to, to buy uh, not mechanical, but without electronic. Uh, it's 
it was a 400, uh, 14500, uh, a Bolt. I think it was an American one. Um, uh, it was in aluminium. Oh, silver bullet. The, 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 it's not the silver bullet, bullet. It's the smallest one. Oh, the BB. From the, yeah, yeah, the BB. The BB. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I be I, I bought a BB, but two or three months after I bought a BB, I have problems with the button, and I say, uh, again. So, uh, I decided to buy a full mechanical mod. It was the Galileo. The Galileo, yes. The yes. Galileo, yes. And um, I like the Galileo, but. I have to clean all the time the threads because they oxidize and not vaping well. So I decide to buy a GG or a Precise. At the time, here in Europe, all of them, GG and Precise, were sold out. So I decided to make a mod for me. I was trying to buy things. <laughs> and, and not be satisfied, so I decided to make one for me. And all starts with a, a prototype of the Caravella and one friend of the Portuguese forum took a coffee with, with me and asked me, why don't you sell it? And I said, oh no, 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 it's too expensive, it's not possible. Because the prototype, I make one mod for me. Uh, and it was really expensive, uh, really, really expensive. And Do you still have that device? I offer this device. I offer this device to my Russian friend um, from the forum. Okay. And uh, because he helped me so much, uh, so. <laughs> Very good, very good. So that's how you d decided to make the Caravella. You were sick yes. and tired of all the bullshit out there. So you yes. decided to make one and make it to what you like. Yes, yes. So it wasn't what I wanted or what the other vapors liked or what no, they no, no, wanted. No. It was just what you wanted specifically yes. for you. Yes. Okay, yes. great. And you know what? That's awesome because a lot of people make devices to satisfy other people uh, and but I think it, people will like this so I'll make it like this but you uh, made I, it for yourself I, I, I think it's not a good idea because uh, to for you to have success in something you may make it the best way you can and the best way it's not okay this guy won't like this one the other likes in another way another one like in a different way if you choose one for you you will find in all over the world because this is uh, for all countries you will find Absolutely. someone who likes the same like the uh, like you like so why do not make for you exactly exactly and that's awesome and that's all well you know what what you like obviously a lot of other people like as well <laughs> because the Caravella has had some great success and um, it's one of the uh, highly sought after devices on the market. Um, if not the most sought after device on the market, it seems to be a lot of people's unicorn that they can't catch. <clears throat> yes, <laughs> because this is, this is not my profession. So I do not make so many. So what is your background, Pedro? Um, I am a physicist. You're a physicist. Oh, yes. So you're not you're not a stupid mod maker that knows nothing <laughs> about the uh, design of making a device. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I I never made a, a, a mod, uh, but okay. And my my okay. I have some information and. Uh, some background, but I'm a physicist. I'm not an engineer, okay? I'm a physicist. 
and I have a PhD in uh, coatings, PVD coatings, thin films for the creative applications. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So does that help you in mod making? Okay. Uh, uh, knowing materials help a lot. Know the properties of the materials help a lot. Uh, but uh, I have also a friend that is an engineer and he he is the one that helped me to transform my idea into codes to give to the um, company that use CNC and and transform my idea into a product because um, I know the tolerance because you can calculate the tolerance that you want but this have for industry special codes I don't know these codes but he helped me good good so the Caravella this is the only device you make Yes, uh, I make the Caravella and the Vela Latina. And what is the Vela Latina? Okay, Vela Latina is something like this. Uh, it's a drip tank. The basic, it's very, very, very simple. You have the central part there, and the juice will go through the external tank to the internal parts and feed the anti. It's so a drip it's, tank. It's an it's a, atomizer tank. Yes, yes, it's an atomizer tank that uses a 306. So no 510s, 306. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. So, um, but there's a tube because that is included that, in the tank itself. You don't have to use because a 306. I, I, I use, I, I made it for 306 because I only use 306. Uh, and I, 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 I make it. it I make it for me uh, I, let me see if I have here the first uh, proof of concept that I make for oh go ahead, go ahead. Tank. and you know yes, I'm, I have I, it. Okay. I'm watching I'm watching the chat in the room and and a lot of people are uh, you know just paying attention and 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 I don't know a lot of people that vape the 306 but I, ha I used to vape a 306, and I really, really enjoy the 306. I really do. I think the 306 is one of the better atomizers out there. And uh, I only use 306 since the beginning. I love 306, really. And, but dripping uh, have uh, one problem when you are driving. It and here in Portugal we drive fast. Yeah. With, yes. <laughs> in highway you can we can go 130, 140 miles for an hour. <laughs> so dripping, it's not so so safe. So. So what kind of car do you drive that you're driving that fast? Okay, now I have a convertible from Pedro, and I am. Uh, uh, but it's okay. And what uh, kind of I car is a, that? It's a cabriolet. It's it's not a B car. It's not a B car. It's a Peugeot, a French car. But Peugeot. you can go. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay. But it goes fast. It goes, goes fast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So let me see that. Yeah. Okay. This is a tank, a, a cartomizer tank. Okay. And first I bought, uh, I, I, I wanted to make a proof of concept of my idea. What is the drip tank? Let me try to remove this. Uh, okay. Okay. Imagine that you have a carton tank. Mm -hmm. You put the internal part of the of a cartomizer inside the the cartomizer tank but you remove all the internal part of the cartomizer okay and you make a hole there 
Okay, for the dripping, and for the liquid. For the drip. And you make like this, you put the tube into the control tank, the hole is on the top, and you use the difference of pressure between the uh, tank and the internal parts when you make a poof, a dry poof like this. And, okay. And the juice just drip into the 306 that, that is like this. Okay. This was my proof of concept. Uh, it's, it's really very simple. And how did it work? Okay. How, how the Vela Latina works? Uh, uh, how did that work? How did that, that prototype work for you? Uh, it worked, the proof of concept of using different pressures uh, from the external tank and the inner part of the tank work. So I decided to make one. Great. Awesome. Awesome. Um, but it, it's, it's, it's a very, very, very simple concept. Okay. And now anybody can buy one of those? Only Caravella owners. Okay, because it has Caravella threads. Yes, and then I don't also have time to check quality of more than 40. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, let's talk about, because the Caravella is so hard to get. Now, now, why is that? Because this is not my profession, and I make uh, only 50 each month. Uh, it's this is the main reason. Uh, I I do not like mass production. Um, at the beginning, when I was selling my four Caravella number forty or fifty, I have a, a big store and you from UK uh, that wanted to buy all the nine 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 Caravellas. And, but they asked me, okay, we want to buy all, but you must put our logo. I will not say the, the, the name of the company. Okay. And I say, no way, no way you will change my, my, my caravella, my boat, no way. And I don't like big quantities. Okay. I'm not interested in big quantities. I prefer to have a, a small community. Uh, okay, this is not a real business. I receive gifts every week. I have to respond and send gifts to them. Every week I receive gifts. This is not a standard business or something. It's I agree very, with you. Uh, this is a, a, a close community. Uh, uh, I can show you uh, the, the last gift that I receive. Uh, but it's a big box like this with a navigation instrument that was invented by Portuguese. Really? That's yeah. awesome. Uh, I received so many gifts, you cannot imagine. And that's you awesome. Imagine. That's great. And, and it, this is much more fun than to sell big quantities to a store. I agree. I agree. Well, it, it's, it's an elite product and... Yes. Um, you know, let, let me, let me ask what makes the Caravella different from any other device uh, in your opinion? I, okay. I think to be honest, it's the, it's to be a limited edition and the quality control. I think it's only that. Um, and you can personalize your mod because, but this is only possible if you make it in small quantities. Um, you're right, you're right. But I think it's, to be honest, uh, it's to be uh, only, because I will make only 999 and I have many quality checks controls. I think it's the two main reasons. So you're making only 999 serial numbered yes. products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that will be it for the Caravella. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I'll stop. Okay.
So the Caravella will be over at 999. So for the folks yes. that own one of those 999 products, they are very lucky. Um, and there's also something that, that they can have stars or something on their serial number. Can you explain okay. that a little bit? Yes. Uh, I have, uh, when I start uh, uh, this adventure, I didn't imagine all these success. So I open a list and I say, in maximum, I will make 999 caravels. And, but people, uh, at the beginning, I have one combination only. It was uh, stainless steel in the tops and brass in the center part. But I like to change, and it's it's one of the advantages that you make this in a so small scale that you can recalculate the um, tolerance and say to the company, uh, okay, now you will not make these parts in in brass, but you will make in stainless steel, because they. I do not have spare parts on the uh, to to sell because I will I ask them prepare me fifty or one hundred and they make these parts and I decide in I don't really remember in what number to make also the combination between brass all the parts could be made in brass and in stainless steel and people that have already one caravella with when the initial combination, ah, tell me, Pedro, I also want one in stainless steel, in full stainless steel. And okay, and I say, why not? <laughs> no problem. And I use another number for them. But after so many people wanted a Caravella that I think to myself, it's not fair. Um, one person gets so many caravellas because I have friends that have four or five caravellas. Right. Uh, and I say, okay, now if I will make only 999, I have to find a way to give the opportunities of the caravella that uh, the, the people that already have one caravella to have in another different material or in another combination without stealing a place or an opportunity to another you know so what i do is you have all happens that people love their caravella but want to have one to go outside and another one to to be on the table to smoke inside home and what i make is if you have a caravella you can ask spare parts and because you own a number, you will in the number you will have an asterisk, a small cross, uh, meaning an that you yep. yes asterisks, uh, for the spare parts, okay, for the spare parts. But these asterisks uh, start because Caravella owners wanted a different combination, and I have it. I have so many requests and people start saying and with reason say this is not fair they have because they put in in the beginning their names on the list they will have four or five caravellas and and we don't have any and so I decide to make this to give the opportunity of the caravel owners to have different combinations but to not use so many numbers and give these numbers to another people so what there could be is there can be let's say I had number 100 in my possession it was the original number 100 I can mm -hmm. have a brass a stainless a stainless brass a brass stainless all yes. with the number 100 serial numbers and all be complete mods yes okay but the, the second, the uh, only one button has one only the number um, engrave it. The second button, if you want it, I have to I engrave the number. In this case, will be one hundred plus an asterisk. 
Okay. So now how many times can we do that if we are a Caravella owner? Three times. Two or three times. Okay. But uh, it's not so easy to get three because I only make 15 or 20 in spare parts um, so each month. So it's not so easy to... Okay. Now the, the list is closed. No, for the moment the list is closed. Uh, in, will the in list the open? In the end of July, I will open uh, a small alternative list just to replace the ones that give up waiting or uh, did not respond to emails or something. So but at the end of July, I have around 120 viewers that are logged in and I probably have a bunch of viewers that are watching. Um, so at the end of July, um, these people will have a chance to get on the Caravella list. Not all, but... <laughs> well, but some so. of them will have the chance. Yes, yes, yes. The opportunity. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. opportunity is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, that's awesome. That's great. Um, the Caravella has been one of my devices that I have been... Uh, going after when the when the list came out I chose not to get on the list and the one reason I chose not to get on the list is because I did not have the money in my pocket that day <laughs> and I didn't but the, I didn't think should, about it should not be a reason it should right. not be a reason uh, uh, I have some customers that are honest with me and say Pedro I love your mode but I cannot pay you immediately and I say, I wait, no problem. And I, ha and I have some uh, that pay me in two, three times. Uh, so they made payments to you. Yes, very good. Uh, one of the questions that I've seen like four people ask in the chat is, Pedro, how do you feel about people selling the Caravella for large, obscene amounts of money. Okay, uh, I think uh, all this is too much. Okay, this is a mod, and only a mod. Is it a metal tube, or is there something special about the Caravella? Yeah, no, no, it's a metal tube. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, the only spe things that is special that you ha you have very low tolerance in all parts but it's okay. surgical steel not silver not gold it's it's steel okay uh, and and um, what disturbs uh, what disturbs me more about people selling their caravella is when people buy the caravella to, and the, in the same day that they arrive that caravella arrive they sell it and they don't enjoy it. I, I I don't care if people trade a Caravella after four months of use. They want to try another thing. They they want to give a gift to a friend. No problem. This is a mod. This is not a lifesaver. This is not a living species. Uh, this is a mod. And um, but because I love the Caravella because it's it's it it was it, it was me that imagine the Calavella I like people enjoy and try it and if people buying buy a Caravella and in the same day they sell it just to get 1000 euros I don't like it. it don't it don't make any sense for me no right and I agree with you um, I agree that um, if I'm going to take the time and energy to be on a list and wait and go through and order the Caravella and the Caravella comes in and I go to a trader or classified and I put it up there and I put it up there for five times the cost of what I just paid for it um, without more, even vaping more. it. And that's what a lot of people say. Never used. Caravella. Never even fired. Tank was yeah, never this... even put on the a machine. Or the device, brand this, new to you. This irritates me, and 
uh, all the people that I get doing this, not trade, not selling them, but not using, not try it, not enjoy it first. If they sell it in the same day or in the same week without trying and they post, they will not buy anything more from me. I'll Very say, good. I and, will, and I like that. I will block there because I'm not a shop. Uh, I sell to whatever I want. Well, for those people that are doing that, I could have been on the list and I could be enjoying a Caravella right now. Yeah. I could have had his place and I could have been enjoying a Caravella right now. That's what bothers me, is that and, I want to be on but, the list because I want to own the, one. The people that sell it without trying, they will not get anything more. Not velas, not drips, not my future mods if I make one, nothing. You know, I have a blacklist. <laughs> you know, Pedro, we have talked a few times and I have really, um, I have a lot of respect for you. I enjoy talking to you. I think, I think you're a very smart guy, an intelligent guy, a very talented guy to come up with the design of the Caravella. And I want to make sure people understand this, that Pedro has made it clear to me he is not a superstar. He is no. not a. a uh, <laughs> <laughs> he is not a um, some famous person. He no, is no, a regular door, guy. Next door, next door man. He's a next door guy. He's your next door neighbor that just decided to make a device. That's it. He's for nobody him. special. For him, I decide to make a mod for me. <laughs> <laughs> and. The only thing that is famous in this whole thing, the only thing that is popular in this whole thing, is the Caravella. Yeah. And yes, he does have some rock star hair. That that's true. <laughs> 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 some of the guy goes, yeah, but he has rock star hair though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So what can we expect from Pedro, the Caravella mod maker? Okay. Uh, I, I I never know if I stop in, in the second day making mods. Uh, I really not do not know. I this is a, a very nice adventure, and for sure I will already give up if I, this was not a community and so many people. Uh, I make friends uh, in the forum. Um, so I do not promise anything. Okay, I'm not a, a company, I'm not a, an industry, this is not my life. Okay, so I will not promise anything. So you're not making millions of dollars doing this? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? <laughs> okay. It will be good. It will be good, but not real. Okay. Okay. I I have an idea to combine my work as a scientist and mods. That is coding a possible, a possible future mod with thin films, uh, ceramic thin films, titanium nitride, titanium, uh, um, aluminum dope titanium nitride or DLCs, a diamond, diamond like carbon coatings. Um, but it's only an idea. I already spoke to one company in Portugal in the center of Portugal that uh, make these coatings because I work in day by day uh, in in the lab with uh, with coatings. Coatings are uh, my profession. Right. <laughs> uh, so let's use it on those mods. <laughs> yes, but uh, the, the material itself it's not so expensive. Uh, titanium, it's expensive, but it's not so expensive. And uh, a thin coating have one micron, one point, one and a half micron. The use it material, uh, it's 
only a few bu bucks, but the technique is very expensive. Um, it's really very expensive. Uh, um, if some of you of you want to search in internet, it's physical vapor deposition by magnetron sputtering. What you do, we we do is something like this. Okay, imagine that this is a disc of titanium and you put this inside a chamber and you you will make high vacuum vacuum you will remove all not all but okay you, you will make a very high vacuum and after you will accelerate uh, argon ions to collide with this titanium plate and you will by sputtering you will remove some of these atoms here and they will be ejected, ejected to the surface that you want to coat. Meanwhile, if you insert on the chamber reactive gases, in this case will be nitrogen, you will make a ceramic coating that is titanium nitride. Titanium nitride is a very hard material. It's the same color as gold. And, but it's a ceramic coating, will never oxidize, uh, will never tarnish, and it's very, very scratch resistant. Uh, titanium nitride is used in high speed drills, uh, in, in, it's used to coat um, steel that is uh, used it to put to replace this bone here. I don't remember the name. Oh, your hip? Your hip? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, but the technique by itself, it's very expensive. And it will, it will cost, uh, it will be expensive, expensive. But I will try. I will try. Because they, uh, I, I took, I took my, uh, my PhD in decorative coatings. Um, and my master also in creative applications. So, this I, I love it. This this area of research, and the company that I spoke with, it's the only one in Portugal that make P, uh, PVD for the creative applications, and she was very interested, uh, not in the Caravella or a future mod by itself because code 100 tubes for them it's nothing. It's uh, it's uh, uh, two cycles, um, but to work with a, a Portuguese scientist that have some knowledge on the area to develop new uh, colors using PVD coatings, um, they are very interested, and probably I will go forward, but. I must now, why is it so expensive? Is it the material that is expensive? No, it's not the material. It's the equipment of the machine that you need for the process. making this code. Yes. Okay. Yes. A very okay. small chamber that I uh, I have in the lab, the smallest one, uh, that it do, do not have any brand. It's made by the scientists that make that buy spare parts. And it's a homemade machine, but only material just to coat, I don't know, two tubes of the Caravella maximum. Uh, <laughs> okay. Each time, each cycle, um, each cycle, it costs 100,000 euros. So the, the, the equipment to deposit this, uh, it's really very expensive. Not the material itself, but the equipment. Okay, it's, so yeah. these devices will be rather high priced. Yes. Uh, and you probably will not be making a thousand of them. <sighs> not more than 999, for sure. No, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so we may be looking forward to that in the future from Caravello. It's possible. It's possible. Now, um, not easier for sure. Now, 
I like Genesis devices. Um, is there a Genesis device maybe yeah. for the Caravella? Uh, I have one prototype here. I must be honest. I love 306. And, but so many people ask me, Pedro, make a Genesis. And I decided to make a Genesis. I will start testing um, with Genesis experts that love and have so many time to make coils, to make meshes, all this. Uh, I have one prototype here. This is unique for now. Um, uh, okay, it's a standard Genesis. Uh, this is a brass center post. I don't know if you can see it. Yep. Uh, it's adjustable if you want to you can remove it this center post and put a crown if you like if you like vv stuff or vw vape you can insert a crown like this okay and it's a standard genesis uh i only use in, in my Genesis, Teflon has a insulating because it's safe. Uh, the center pin is insulated all the way down uh, using Teflon. Um, one hair hole for now, one uh, hole for the mesh, and only uh, because people always like small chambers. Uh, I use Teflon to reduce so the volume. So that is a reduced chamber top cap yep. with a reduction made out of Teflon. Yes. Very nice. If you do not like small chambers, you, you remove the Teflon. <laughs> and Very good. It, because people, uh, I always ask, okay, this is the f only thing that I make for friends, not for me. Uh, because they say, Pedro, we, we love Genesis, we love Genesis, please make one to be straight in the, in the caravella, and so on. And I start asking them, do you like to hold with 1.2 millimeters, 1.5, 1.1, one, and all of them give me a different answer. And yeah, because I, I okay. personally like 1.4, 1.5 millimeters. Uh, and for me, this is too, too airy for Genesis. So I decided, okay, I will not make one top cap for each friend. I must find a way to, to control right. the air. And, <laughs> and so uh, let me just find here something to illuminate if for me to show you. Oh, this is always a mess, my table. Okay. In the inner part, I don't know if you can see it with a... Okay. It has a sleeve, a stainless steel sleeve. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. And you can rotate. There's this a little thing. sleeve in there by the air yes. hole. And you can rotate the sleeve to close or open the air hole. So you can or close it, it and make it like a half moon? Or yes, or completely close it. Half moon, one quarter of a moon, whatever you want. Right, right. Or completely close it if you want to travel or something. So how, and, and it won't leak? If you close it, nope. It might leak out the drip tip, but it won't leak out the air hole. Yes. So, how big will the big air hole be that we can work with? Uh, the, the, like a 1.5? 1.5, yes. Okay. So, I we're going to have. It's not necessary more. More. It's... Right. So, we'll have a 1.5 air hole, 1.5 millimeter air hole that we can close down and adjust on our own. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Very good idea. Awesome. I like it. Uh -huh. Uh, if you want my honest opinion, I do not know why people do not 
all, all of Genesis makers do not n do this way because this way you can satisfy all. And you can make everybody not, happy. But yeah, this is not a, a genius idea. This is only a sleeve. So it's just a little sleeve that slides right around in there. Yes, yes. It's a sleeve. It's something. You have a hole here and the sleeve you will do like this. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Great idea. I love it. But it's very simple. So, um, how do you feel about China copying the Caravella? I don't care. <laughs> if, you, if you want my honest opinion, I, I don't care about copies. This is not my life. People who buy a Caravella, most of them like quality. Uh, I understand that it's expensive product and if someone wants to, to buy another one, I don't care. I, I really don't care about copies. No. Uh, uh, no, I don't. I don't care because. Okay, imagine that you have uh, a state-of-the-art car, a very expensive car, and copies. If I don't care about copies, really, I don't care. Uh, it's not my problem. Uh, no. Now, I'm what not... devices do you vape on? I'm only uh, vaping Caravella and so, Valala. So you don't vape on no other devices? Nope. Do you own other devices? Now I have my Galileo only. I offer all. <laughs> <laughs> you gave up everything. Yeah. <laughs> because well, you have when... Caravella, you don't need nothing else. No, it's not. It's not this. Uh, it's not this for other people. It's it's not this issue. But imagine that you develop a mod for yourself. So I develop a mod for myself. So all the others, I I make. This is actually like I like, so I, I don't use any other. But I, I this agree. Is not, for other peoples, uh, uh, they can have and use whatever they want. I don't, uh, it's not a problem. This is only a mod. This is not a religion. This is not a living thing. Uh, it's a mod. But for me, I only use Caravella because I make the Caravella for me, at, uh, for my personal taste. So, it's the best I can have for me. You know what? And that's 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 well put, and I really like that. Um, that's that's awesome. You know, the Caravella. Uh, I see different designs, and every time I see a different uh, uh, combination, maybe like a brushed brass with polished stainless steel, or polished stainless steel with a uh, polished brass. And they look so beautiful. They are such a beautiful looking device. Um, every time I see one, I always get jealous. I'm like, oh, I, I need to have one of them. So if I ever get my hands on a Caravella, my first build is going to be one of every tube that you make. And <laughs> one of every ring so I can have every different combination of the Caravella. Okay. Just to let you know. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> um, so, folks, I did see a lot of questions in the room. Does anybody have some pertinent questions that you would like to ask uh, Pedro while he is here? What does Pedro think about the popular popularity inside the vaping community that his design has brought to the country and to the people of Portugal? Hmm. You want the truth? Here in Portugal, uh, I only <laughs> sell three or four Caravellas. I do not like publicity. I like my 
quiet life. Uh, I only like uh, to be known uh, in in scientist community because this is okay. This is nothing special. This is a mode. Okay, this is not high technology, and I like to to live my quiet life without everyone knocking on my door to say, "Do you have any caravella?" Uh, so I don't. The uh, vaping community in Portugal is very small. It's a group of friends, um, so I'm not famous uh, for sure. Yes. Yes. Okay, um, I did see, let me let me scroll back up. I did see one person asked, and he's one of my good friends, um, how come you are not making a floating pin? For conductivity purpose. Uh, here in, in, in Genesis, it, I must make uh, um, a floating pin because there is any other way to adjust for the different uh, lengths of batteries for the Caravella. But when I develop uh, the when I it's not a, it was not a develop it was when I imagine my mode my mode I only use three uh, uh, um, eight, um, 18, 350 batteries and. I like performance, and for for every interface that you have between the battery and the ATI, the coil of the ATI, you can have uh, loss of power. So the best way it's uh, brass contact straight ahead from the um, the atomizer to the battery. Um, it's the most simple and most efficient way. To conduct electric electricity without um, uh, interfaces, because electrons has to jump from one interface into another, and if you use uh, <laughs> brass, it will oxidize, and in that layers will it's more difficult for electrons, and it's not nice for electrons. They must jump freely. Um, one of the other questions: What do you think the next steps? in design improvements do you see coming in the vaping world okay uh, i think what is an electronic cigarettes electronic cigarettes by principle it's a coil in a, a source of power that vaporizes a liquid and transform it into vapor This will not change, or it will be a complete new way of vaping, not this. So what you can improve is the way that you put the liquid into the coil or the materials that you use to heat the, the, the liquid. The rest, it's only electronics or something, but by principle, it, this is very simple. It, only materials will change, in my opinion, because this is a very, very, very simple technology. It's a coil because you need a source of uh, heat, and for for this you make you need a battery, but it's for, by principle a coil in a source of power. The less expensive mod that you can make, it's two wires of copper, and connect it with the battery and right. the, to the atomizer right um me and you had a little discussion earlier today matter of fact about um silica wick okay um let me hear your outlook or your your take on silica now i'm not speaking uh, uh in this area i must uh, um make I, I must be very um uh, responsible because uh, first of all i'm not a mod maker i'm a scientist and people know that i'm a scientist and in some 
words that I say, they will connect this to a scientist and not a mod maker. I think, and it's only my opinion, um, if we can avoid silica, in my opinion, it's best. Because silica has, can behave the same way le like asbestos that is forbidden now asbestos. in Europe. Yes, asbestos. Uh, yes, asbestos. Uh, because the problem is it's glass and it's, uh, they are uh, silica can be very thin um, needles of glass that can in a long term can ir irritate your lungs okay if you look into some literature you will find many papers many works many research about silica uh, and not all of them are, are favor they favor the use of silica especially when you are breeding them um, since we give up smoking uh, to have a different smoking safest deliver of nicotine why we do not make all the possible ways to be safer okay um, in my opinion if we can replace silica by others materials in my opinion it's better so um, you know I was trying to find some more uh, literature and there's not much out there about silica there's not a lot of studies done on how it reacts to your lungs inhaling it so uh. I, I can uh, get you some PDF files uh, about publications, but uh, these these documents are not open to public. You have to pay for them. I have a section of them because uh, I work in a university and they pay all the all this stuff. But uh, yeah, I can assure that that I can find you several publications about use of silicon uh, because not specifically for vaping but uh, in an industry they use many types of silica and all the the workers that work in factories using powder silica or something in long term most of them have allergy problems they have lungs problems I do not have any scientific study a long term about the use of silica in vaping. But like like in a medicine, like in a food, if you have questions about the safety and you can replace it by another one that you have less questions or less doubts, why do not you use another material? I agree. So stainless steel is probably one of the best choices to use. Yes, but uh, in my opinion, you should change uh, the mesh with some frequency uh, and uh, one, one, one time each month, in my opinion. Because you do okay, you oxidize the mass, you make some oxide in the surface, but if you use the same mass a lot of times, probably another reactions with the, the oxides will occur, and this is not so expensive to change. And if you use uh, not so many time uh, mesh, I think it's best to replace. Okay, and use it also to clean all your arty one one time it's months it's not so much okay because um, because because this is a new area okay there is no long-term studies about oh, exactly exactly so so if we can be smart and can anticipate 
some future problems, it's not so expensive to change the coil and to change the mess, the mesh. And if you can really um, replace silica, um, it's better. Um, now I see there's a, been a few questions in the room about eco wool. Um, ask about eco wool. Eco wool is silica. It is just a another uh, design or another uh, uh, braid, <laughs> a different design of silica. Uh, my my opinion stands the same. It remains the same. I thought I would assume that. All right, let me see what else the same. Um, please ask me the safest material available. At, so at, least, at least if you use silica, if you use silica, do not avoid uh, vaping when the silica is dry. Always keep a lot of moisture or juice in, 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 in the silica, okay? Actually, if that you, will keep the glass together, correct? Yes, this this will decrease the probability of you are vaping small parts of glass. Correct, correct, and, and that 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 that's a good point to point out. Keep your silica wet. Um, if if you're getting any dry tendency of hits, don't vape it. Get that shit wet. <laughs> yeah. Um, they said, what, what about Nextel? What about braided? Um, Stainless steel wires, wire. Uh, what? Please repeat. I didn't hear. The Nextel wire, the um, the braided a uh, stainless steel wire there. Ah, the the mesh using stainless steel cable. The stainless steel cable, correct. Yes. Uh, um, the the stainless steel, if we, it's not galvanized, it will be the same as your mesh. They do not make stainless steel, especially for cables or for mesh. It's right. all stainless steel. Uh, right. um, and I tried the a Genesis with the, with the SS cable, and I love it. Okay, that's that's good enough yeah. for me because I'm really enjoying it. And I love it. I think it's uh, the, the the wicking. It's much better than. So what's your favorite juice, uh, Pedro? What do you vape? What do you like to vape? I always vape the same thing. It's a mix. Uh, I already try uh, a lot of things, uh, but now I'm such satisfied what's in my mi mixture. I, I mixed two juice from Halo. Uh, Captain Black and Crystal uh, uh, Ice or Mental from Aloe, and I mix them, and I've had this, eight, um, eighteen milligrams. And that's all you vape. Yeah. You don't. Vape I do not like fruit. No, I don't. Do not like fruits. Um, no, I like tobacco and menthol. Only that. Very good. Very good. Very simple. See. I have never had that. Now, where do you get the Captain Black from? It. I think it's an American brand. I buy it here in Portugal. Now, I, I, I do, did not buy the last bottles because so many people offer me. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't bought juice in so damn long. <laughs> Oh yes, it might. It's probably Halo. Halo. Yes. Halo makes Captain Black. That's right. Correct. Um, uh, yes, he's love, Halo. I, I love Halo juice. I really do. They are um, very good. They are very expensive, but they are very good. Absolutely, absolutely. Pedro, it's nine thirty-four. Um, this hour flew by. I really do want to appreciate and thank you very much for coming on and uh, spreading your word of the Caravella. I just want to remind everybody, um, if you are interested in trying to get on the list for the Caravella, the list will possibly be opening up towards the end of July mm -hmm. for the remaining 50 to 70 
positions available on the list. There is only 999 serial numbers produced. There will be no more as mm -hmm. of right now. Pedro says it will stop. There possibly may be another device coming from Pedro, um, but it will be a very high-end device with a uh, titanium nitrate coating. Um, yes. Uh, there's also a Genesis device for the Caravella. Oh, uh, it's in, in a prototype. Uh, it's a prototype. Uh, in the works. Only, ap uh, only after summer, probably, if everything goes okay. And the Vela Latina. Okay, the Vela Latina, yes. Uh, it's, it's ready and it's my all day vaping. It's Vela Latina. So, um, folks, that's what I have for you for Pedro. Pedro, again, I want to thank you. Um, I appreciate you ah. coming on. And a another issue regarding safety. If you can use uh, glass instead of polycarbonate or acrylic, please replace uh, uh, the polymers. polymers. Any of the plastics, not... correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, because polymers cannot stand for long periods of time um, all the, the, the chemicals of of the all the liquids. You are not sure when um, a polycarbonate or a acrylic polymer uh, have some cracks because of a choose. It's because it change volume the polymer change volume if it change volume it's because some of the polymer goes to your juice and you right. are vaping some polymers right <laughs> and, and polymers. you know i have tasted ju uh, a plasticky taste before and looked at my glass my plastic tank and noticed some little cracks in it and i just took it off and replaced it yeah but uh, if you can avoid plastic, uh, because for instance, in, in the Vela Latina, if imagine, and for me it's a reality, I only use this and it's 24 hours each day in, for many time in contact with the juice. And with Pyrex or glass, I use Pyrex, Pyrex because it's it can stand more. Um, uh, it's more resistant and it can tolerate more changes, uh, more di different temperatures. Uh, but with Pyrex or with glass or any type of glass, you are sure that you are not. Uh, putting any glass into into your into your juice, but you are not sure this with polymers. Exactly. Um, I want to add uh, one of my friends over here, Car Machine, had said, uh, "Dude, Pedro, gotta say once again, you are a scientist, a mind of an engineer, and wait a minute, it just scrolled up." and a vision of an artist <laughs> and he wanted to thank you <laughs> okay. he really thanks admired well. you <laughs> Th thanks for these kind words but uh, okay i am a scientist scientist by profession uh, yes uh, but only that only that and and please remove all all the ideas that scientists are completely <laughs> different persons and quite intelligent this is not reality okay scientists are people that are dedicated to research it's not that we are standard pe people but we love one thing we we we're we working on research and uh, it's not um, we are not genius we are standard persons no <laughs> Science, it's not made by genius. 
There are a few geniuses, but the high majority of researchers are not genius. Um, every product that goes or leaves the, the laboratory, it's 99% of work. There is no genius. It's hard work. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, uh, <clears throat> but I'm going to say this, and I know you're not going to like this. You're a genius for coming up with the Caravello, though. Uh, Absolutely. No. <laughs> I, I make a device for myself. Imagine <laughs> that you have uh, the knowledge to make a mod for your taste. And I will call you a genius in this way. Yes, but many people have done it, and not everybody enjoys it the way they enjoy the Caravella. So okay, your taste, now. your taste and your design, what you like, is uh, very well liked. Okay. <laughs> is that good? <laughs> it is. Pedro, I want to thank you again. The show is coming to a close, and... Um, Again, thank you, Pedro. It's been an honor to have you on here uh, to share some of your knowledge and to let people know some inside thoughts um, of the maker of the Caravella. Okay, no problem. <laughs> I think you treat me like I am not a standard person. But please, I'm a completely standard person and the Caravella, it's metal parts a combination a good combination of metal parts it's not more than that okay what makes a little bit the caravel difference it's the huge amount of parts that I give away because they are not in the tolerance that I want and it's it's dedication everyone can make a quality mod in any part of the world if they are dedicated to do it this is not magic. This is not. <laughs> I hear you. I and I agree. I agree. Uh, <laughs> this is dedication. Pedro, uh, thank you, my friend. See you. I will talk to uh, you soon. Um, I'll give you a call on Skype later on. Take care. <laughs> and the rest of the room are saying thank you. And uh, it was a great interview. All right, Pedro, I will talk to you I soon. I thank you. See you. Bye-bye now. Bye. Okay, folks, give me one second here. Oh, boy. Um, what the hell happened? So, is everybody there still? I am not seeing the chat for some reason. Oh boy, did I lose everybody? Okay, let me just take care of one thing real quick. Folks, um, I hope you all enjoyed. No, that is not open still. Wait a second. It was probably my fan. Okay. Okay, folks. So, I have a few giveaways, and I have 15 minutes to do it in. So, um, 
we're gonna get to these giveaways. Okay, let me get to these giveaways and we will see what we can do. I don't know why this is taking so long to get this over here, but it is. All right. And we're going to give away another J Wrap. Yes, Mod Envy will be on right after. I am going to be doing another J Wrap from Alon. Um, here we go, folks. I am going to take everybody's name that is in the chat right now. I'm scrolling down, collecting everybody's name. And I am putting it in a list randomizer on random.org. And I'm going to take out mine. Okay. So here are all the names that are in the room right now. And this is for a J Rap. And the lucky winner of the J Rap is BB Wreck 33. BB Wreck Breck 33 congratulations. I am going to put my email address in the room. And there it is. RawSanders13 at gmail.com. Breck, go over to jraps.com and pick out any rap of your choosing for any device. And send that email the code number or the code uh, the product code and your shipping address and i will get that over to alan and he will get that out to you as soon as possible and i am gonna do another j rap giveaway i have 12 minutes i'm gonna do one more let me go back, reset this. I'm going to collect everybody's name once again. Everybody's name is getting collected. I'm putting it in random.org. I will scroll back up, take out my name. and take out the viewer's name and the lucky winner of another j rap will be rd vapor congratulations rd vapor very cool um again rd vapor here goes my email address There you go, RD Vapor. My email address is in the chat. Copy it down. Go over to J Raps. Pick out a wrap and send me the product code and your shipping information. And make sure in the subject line you put J Rap winner. Congratulations to RD Vapor and BB Breck. B Brex. B Breck. B Break 33. B Break. Ah, B break. I can't even believe I didn't see that. So, 
So folks, I urge you, if you are looking for a wrap for your device, um, Alan over at J Wraps sells very, very quality, high quality um, wraps for your device. They are vinyl. They are not some thick, thin sticker. They are a quality wrap to um, cover and protect your device. Get over there. Show Alan some love and pick up a J wrap for your device. He also has some very cool designed um, mod holders, mod stands. They're very nicely designed and I will let you know that he is always coming up with new ideas. Uh, right now he has um, uh, Star Wars themed wraps and a Star Wars themed mod holder. Um, very cool. Um, I really want one. If I had the money right now, I would be doing it. Uh, did you get some free time to do the eye clarity? Um, mental vapologist, I did not. I really will. I, I, I'm sorry. I have been so busy this week. I actually, um, I got laid off a couple weeks ago. And this past week, I just got another job that I start Monday. Um, so I've been getting all set up with that new job. So, uh, you know, I, I will get to it. I, I promise. <clears throat> um, so... Get over to J-Raps and check them out. I really stand behind uh, Alon's products and I mean, you can't get better. Come on. Actually, the new job is is not better. Well, let me put it this way. The pay is not better, but it's better than nothing. That's the way I'm looking at it. The experience will be good for my line of work. Um, it's more along uh, what I went to school for. So hopefully I can land something a lot better. <clears throat> 